my computer was being very uncooperative and now when I hit put this little flash drive in to restore it uh, first of all the default software when I pressed F9 said there was no recovery partition and it takes me to the screen right here and it says initializing and about five to six minutes later it reboots and I see this screen again if I take out the flash drive then it takes me right to the BIOS. I'll go ahead and cut right to that part of the video. And the light is flashing, letting me know there's activity going on. Well, it just stopped. But it still says it's initializing. And there it goes again. But in a second here, the screen's going to go away and it's going to go back to get started. Do you want to do this? And I'm like, yes, I do. And it's just this loop. Like it can't initialize the hard drive or something. And it's a proprietary uh, RAID SSD that's in there from ASUS, you guys. So I don't know what's going on with this thing. It won't work. I can't do anything with it right now. I would go to put a flash drive in it and it wouldn't pop up. i go to my computer and it wouldn't say there's one in there. And then... If I went to my documents, eventually I would find a way to get to it. But then you go to safely eject it and it wouldn't safely eject. Uh, other card readers that are USB just wouldn't work. After a Windows update that was from Windows, just everything stopped working. And I have tried to restore it to a week, more than a week before the update happened. And it still did it. So let's just wait until it kicks me out back to this screen again. All right, it just literally went to a black screen and it turned off and it's gonna say, it's, I'll just go ahead and get to that. It's only two minutes into this. It's this loop and it, I can't use my computer. I can't even open a web browser. I can't edit a video. I, I it's just, come on. There's the hard drive light flashing. It's spinning up, it's loading the recovery software, and if I hit get started, it's like, it just, it just keeps doing this. And if I power it off, wait for it to go off, pull this out, it will take me right to the BIOS. There's the BIOS. Let's go ahead and do a restore defaults. Yes. Is it detecting the hard drive? I don't even know where to see that. Uh, advanced. SATA configuration. Okay, it's detecting the hard disk. Don't know why I can't initialize it or do anything. Let's go ahead and load defaults, restore defaults, and save changes and exit, and see what happens. It should take me right back to the BIOS. I went from having a barely working computer to a computer that doesn't work at all.